So today, I'm gonna try a mother load and hidden gem again. The last time was on the six fatty bike, which was pretty brutal. This time is on the fat bike. And these are 4.5 inch tires. And there's only about eight pounds of air in them and they're still pretty firm. So I might have to drop them some more, but let's see how it does. Way better than the, way better than the three inch. Still some slides now. It's also a little more difficult when you're uh, breaking trail. Much easier when you can follow where someone else has been. As long as they didn't ride off trail. <laughs> Slow and steady glides right through. Um, I'm assuming these are coyote prints. Because there's no there's no human prints to go with them. Timmy can come from that. Still following the coyote prints. So check this out. The smaller print has been bleeding from one of the paws. Every so often there's a paw print with a little blood in it. Looks like the smaller of the two has an injury. Amazing the difference you get between a three inch tire and a four and a half inch tire. You have to manage your speed a little different. A little more momentum is good. Especially on the little slopes. Creek crossing in the snow. Woo! Next on the agenda. Next on the agenda. Hidden gem. 
this was rideable last time, but there was still a lot of getting stuck. A lot of places where there was sliding. So let's see how we do today. Hidden gem. Bad footprints. So one cool thing when it's freezing cold, there's no mud. It's all iced over. It kind of makes it cleaner. Do I go over the ice or around the ice? Yeah, we're going to lift around this. A much better print. That's a much, much better defined one than the last one. So you set it up this way. Well, early morning is the time to come out here because right now. The mud is still frozen. So, this side of the valley is pretty muddy in the spring. You can see the water is actually just sitting over there. The nice part is right now, I can glide right through like pavement. Oh, except here. This is water. <laughs> <laughs> Note to self, that ice was not thick enough for the weight of me and the bike together. <laughs> I'm calling it successful because I didn't get wet. You can tell winter's arrived. The creeks have water in them again. This has been dry all summer. The next one has a brand new bridge they just built. This you used to have to ride down into the creek to cross. Now you have a sketchy little bridge. Okay, maybe not so sketchy. <laughs> 